Today's video is a really interesting one. It is a personal or lifestyle video, and I'll be showing you how to go from this to this. So, today's video, I'll be teaching you how to fix press on nails and make them last longer than three weeks. So, there are strategies to these things, and there is a way you can fix your press on nails and make them last longer. So, the advantage of using press on nails is it is safer than fixing acrylic nails or any other type of nail you want to fix it is also cheaper and it is easier to fix and you can do it yourself so why do i say it is safer because you don't have to use any chemical to fix your nail when you want to take off the nail all you need to do is just soak your hands in water and then you can remove the nail but with the other type of nails you fix you have to soak your fingers or soak your hands in a chemical or a nail remover and that nail remover has chemicals right and it is not really safe for your body if all those things keep on entering your skin every single time you fix nails it is also cheaper because you can do it by yourself you don't have to go to a salon which is what i want to teach you today how to fix or press on nails yourself make it look so professional that someone will ask you if you went to a salon to fix it so stay tuned in this video so the first thing you want to do is to file your nails down now filing your nails down with a nail file just helps you make sure that your real nails are at a lower length than the press on nails also it helps with the glue because the glue or the gum that comes with the press on nails it can only cover a specific surface area as you would soon see so if your nails are longer than the surface area the gum can cover then be rest assured that the gum might not stick well and the essence of doing this video is to show you how to make your press on nails last longer than three weeks so just file your nails down to the shortest length that is convenient for you but make sure that the length you file your nails down is no longer than the press on nails after filing my nails the next stage is to take a cuticle remover and to remove the rough edges of my cuticle so you can see i'm using the blunt end of the cuticle remover to push down my cuticle and to arrange it now some people do this to the extreme level but i just feel like it sometimes it's not even necessary but i had to do mine because the edges of my cuticles were already very rough and i had to make them smooth because if the surface of your nail is not smooth the gum will not be able to stay very well on that particular nail so i use the cuticle remover to remove every rough uh, just be very careful because your cuticle can get infected if it is not done properly some people will go as far as taking scissors to trim it down i do i can't do that like i'm actually really scared so i just did my best and i was really really careful when removing my cuticles i just made sure everything looked really neat and okay i didn't go the extreme way to push it to all the way back i just pushed it a little and then trimmed the edges the next stage is to take your nail file and file on top of your nails like file the surface of your nails now there's this thing in woodwork where if you want to join two pieces of wood together using an adhesive an adhesive can be a gum a glue or anything the best way to make sure that those two pieces of wood stick together and last very long is to roughen the surface of of both pieces of wood so what you do is to file them or sandpaper them just to give them a little bit of roughness on the surface before applying the adhesive now it would last longer because the adhesive which is the gum or the glue would then seep through the pores of the wood you've already roughened and then stick together hold each other better so the same thing applies to fixing press on nails you have to file the surface of your nails so that it would give you that rough surface and then when you apply the gum it the gum would then stick to your nail very well and at the same time also stick to the press on nails now some people go as far as filing inside the press on nails you can actually do that but in this video you would see that i didn't do that because i honestly did not have the tool to file inside the nail there's supposed to be a curved drill that you can use and i don't have a curved drill so i just ignored that part and just made sure that i filed the surface of my nails before applying the gum as you will see in the next stage
so now that my nails have been prepped and ready to go i'm supposed to clean them with an alcohol pad an alcohol cutting pad or an alcohol pad but i didn't have an alcohol pad so i just used a dry face towel a soft face towel now if you have cutting wool and methylated spirit you could use that now the essence of using um an alcohol pad to clean your nail is to remove any oil or dirt that might prevent the gum from sticking well to your nails or to the press on nails so these are the press on nails i ordered from shen and i have a video here that will teach you how you can order stuff from shen so you just want to click on the link above and watch the video all right so these are my nails the next thing i will do is to bring out the nails and sort them out now first of all you would see the gum here which has been provided by the nail manufacturing company this is what i would use to fix my nails now with this gum I can always reuse these nails in the sense that when I want to remove the nails, all I need to do is just soak my hands in warm water for a few minutes and then remove the nails and the gum will just, you know, peel off from my nail and the press on nails and I can reuse the press on nails. However, if I decide to use super glue or any nail glue, I will not be able to reuse the press on nails so the nails will be damaged and like that's the end of it so it's always advisable to use this particular gum that has been provided by the nail company as you can see here the nails i have are designed they are not plain nails which makes it really um tricky so you have to have a vision of what you want your finished look to be like so if you have a pattern in your mind you then need to sort your nails out according to that pattern now the next thing you would also do is to check the number on the press on nails now each press on nail has a number sometimes those numbers don't really work so the best thing to do is to take each press on nail and fit it to your real nails to see if the size is accurate now it is always better to use an undersized press on nail on a particular finger so say for instance you don't get the exact measurement of your finger amongst the press on nails just use a slightly undersized one than to use an oversized one if you use an oversized one that press on nail is going to cover your cuticle which is not safe at all and it's, it's not even going to look pleasant so you can always use an undersized press on nail a slightly undersized press on nail for your nails so just check the sizes make sure they are as accurate as possible and then choose the designs or choose the colors that you know fit the overall picture you want to have i already have a picture in mind of how i want my nails to look and that was the pattern i went for so you do the same but if it's a plain nail if it's like plain design there's no single design it's just plain colors then you are free to just go straight to the sizing part So after sorting my nails, the next thing I would do is to start fixing them. As you would see, they're already arranged based on the vision I have for how I want my nails to look like. Right? So I'm just going to start taking them one after the other and fixing them using the glue. Let your thumb be the last one you fix because that thumb is going to help you press down the nail to the glue. Alright? So if you look at this glue box very well or this glue sheet very well you would see that each glue has its own size so to the best of your ability just pick the glue size that fits the particular nail and then when you pick it you, you drop it on your nail and then peel off the covering once you've peeled off the covering you can then fix that nail on it directly so this is why it is always good to sort your nails out first so that the glue does not dry in the process of you trying to find the right size now once you fix your glue once you fix your nail rather you press it down with your thumb for about 10 seconds press it round and make sure that everything has stuck well now some people what some people do is to file the edges of the nail probably they want to reduce the size of the nail the length of the nail they file it down or maybe the edges are rough they just file it down before fixing some other people prefer to 
file it when the nail is already on their fingers for me i didn't bother to file it too much just a few rough edges i filed after fixing so fixing my thumb first actually gave me a lot of difficulty which is why i won't advise you to fix your thumb first fix your pinky finger start from the smallest finger and walk up to your thumb that way it's going to be really really easy for you to fix your press on nails So this is the finished product this is what my nails look like everything is fixed everything is sturdy and everything is looking so nice now if you have cuticle oil you can apply that on your cuticle and if you also look at the inside of my nails you would see that my real nails are not poking out of the press on nails which was exactly what i wanted hence the reason for filing my natural nails really down in stage one so this is it guys this is how you fix your press on nails i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that you liked it and that you learned a lot if you look closely these are the same nails i used in my pre birthday photo shoot it was one of the things i did to prepare for my birthday that happened and it was the same nails i used on my birthday so it was a really nice experience doing this for myself and saving myself a whole lot of money on to my next video bye thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to my channel